Thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to watch my latest beer review. I always appreciate when you do just that. When you stop by the channel, taking the time out of your busy day to see what little me has going on here on the channel. So what do I have? Well, I have what I think is going to be an absolute treat here tonight. This here is the, uh, so what it is, it's out of Mason L Works, and they are out of California, Tustin, California. No idea where that is in California. So this is part of their Sweet Creams are made of these series. So they have a series. Again, Sweet Creams are made of these. Love the play on, on the old song, Sweet Dreams are made of these. Probably one of the coolest names for an actual Sour L series that I think I've ever heard of or ever heard. So what this is, this is their Cherry Pie Edition. So before I go into the adjuncts, you got to check out that artwork. That is just killer artwork right there. I don't even know what it is. Some monster on here. I'm grab, somebody's grabbing the head of it. I mean, I don't know. This is just some crazy artwork. You got the tongue getting, he's pulling his tongue out of his mouth. Uh, you got those little monsters resting on his arm. It's just crazy stuff going on. Five out of five for this artwork. It's absolutely killer on the artwork. So, the Sweet Creams are made of these series by Mason L. Works. This is their Cherry Pie Edition. It says with sweet cherry, lactose, and graham crackers. 8% alcohol by volume. So 8% on this bad boy. Um, so that's kind of, that's a little higher than some of these uh, heavily fruited, um, you know, sours are. Uh, they're really not, you know, much more than like around the 6, right? So this is 8, so it might have a little bit of ass to it. Now there is no date on the can. Um, but the bottle shop in Dayton, Ohio, the barrel house that I get this, that I get these from, that I got this particular one from, and I paid uh, six dollars and sixty-nine cents for it, because um, it's again heavily fruited. Uh, it's actually on the website or on uh, I think it was Untapped. Was it Untapped? I think it was Untapped. Uh, the description said milkshake inspired. So this series is milkshake inspired. So I'm expecting that thick slushy. Um, type of uh, uh, heavily fruited uh, L here. So um, I know what I'm saying. So I did have this upside down in the can. I will give it a light roll here just to, there's a lot of good adjuncts in there. And the can feels really hard here. Like, mm, I hope there's not an explosion on here. But uh, again, I want to crack this thing open and get into it because I've uh, rambled enough here. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, I got a little bit of a release there. I don't want to get one. All right, so no idea what color this is. I'm hoping uh, cherry to gr uh, grape, cherry to uh, purple type of color. So we will see here. We'll stop. We'll give it a little roll here, a little shake up. Well, it looks looks very good. It looks cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we got that thick syrupiness coming out of this thing. Ooh. Oh, there's a nice carbonation release on this. I can hear it popping away here. All right, so look at that. Just look at that. Lordy, lordy. That looks like blueberry syrup. That's what that looks like, or raspberry syrup or something there is definitely definitely that murkiness to it that thick juicy murkiness to it so we had uh, maybe produced about a half of a finger of just a pink to light purple uh, colored head up on top of this and typical to the style it's not going to stick around uh, long so we'll start we'll give it a little, little uh, swirl here Oh, cherry. Whew, cherry all day. Mm, sweet cherry pie. So, what it actually um, reminds me of is 
the cherry pie, like the canned cherry pie filling. You, know, you kind of pop the can, the top off of that can there. You know, use your can opener or peel it off, whatever it's got on there. But that's very much what it smells like. Um, and it has, it might have some pulp in this here. We'll know when we get a drink on it. Um, so nose-wise, just sweet, cherry. I get the graham cracker and all that type of stuff. Mm. Nice. Very nice. So you hear the dogs barking. My wife and daughter just got home, I think. So body-wise, first off, higher side of medium body. Taste-wise, thick cherry graham cracker vanilla this is probably the closest you could get to blending up a cherry pie and putting it in a beer form delicious home run uh 4.5 out of 5 is what i'm going to score this thing i mean it's just cherry pie all the way through I get the graham cracker, the crust, the sweet the sweetness, the tartness of the cherry is all there. And just a little bit of a sourness on the back end to let you know. This is a sour ale. You got a lot of just that acidic fruitness to it as well. Uh, super sweet. Probably so sweet I shouldn't even be drinking it if I'm being honest with you. We'll get the rest of that in there. Just, oh my, it's crazy. Mm. That's just good. I apologize for the dogs. That's Nova, our Labrini. She just going fucking nuts. Mm. Absolutely delicious beer. Just sweet cherry pie blended up in beer form. 4.5 out of 5. Highly recommend this. And I, I hope to get other ones from this series. Um, fantastic beer. And uh, hey, I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please become one. I can always use the subs. Mm. Just delicious. Just delicious. So anyhow, like always, hey, I appreciate you watching.